this week's tip is about uh, something I've been noticing in the swatches for my basics class that I teach and it's been occurring several times so perhaps it's time to discuss it again. Uh, notice in this swatch that my cast on edge and my bind off edge do not match. This one is pulled very tight, this one is fairly loose and notice that it pulls in at the top. This is not good, you do not want to do this. Uh, and also notice that this last bind off stitch is quite enlarged and um, these are things that you can easily fix. How a swatch should look, how your work should look, is the bind off edge should match your cast on edge. Now it's never going to match exactly because a bind off is going to be tighter than a cast on edge if you're using a long tail cast on. There are cast ons that are tighter, but you should be able to square off the corners without having to work it too much. Particularly if you are knitting something where you start with and end with the same number of stitches. And also notice on this one that the uh, last bind off stitch is not overly large. Now um, I'm going to use a technique to fix this and um, it has to do with it has a lot of effect on the tension of these columns of stitches. Often you'll see knitters where this column of stitch, this column of stitch might be over large. Uh, guess what? You have a tension issue if if your knitting looks like that. And it just looks sloppy, particularly if the piece is going to be seamed. And it's a fairly easy thing to fix. Um, I'm going to show you one fix for it. And it happens primarily because the selvage stitches are just kind of left out there hanging. They don't have another stitch to help anchor the excess yarn and often the yarn from the selvage stitch will work into this column of stitches. So we'll see ways to fix that. And uh, that will fix this. Now as far as the bind off edge, there's a very, very, very easy fix for that. Uh, often you'll see people say that you need to use a larger needle. I don't do that because then I need to go find a larger needle. I've always been a proponent of fixing the problem rather than having to go fetch a tool to help you fix it. Now I've knit a swatch and notice that I'm on, I've just finished a right side row and most of us prefer to bind off on a right side row rather than the wrong side row. I could certainly bind off now, but I'm going to bind off after I complete the next row. And the reason I'm going to do that is that if you're worried about this stitch when you bind off being too large, or the last stitch, the time to fix it is on the row before. And there are a couple of ways to do this. One thing you can do is to always begin a row tighter than you end a row. So I'm going to begin when I knit this way, I'll begin when I knit that way. That is one way most knitters find that that solves the problem pretty well. In extreme cases, and I like to think of the last bind off stitch as extreme, if I work it normally, maybe pull it a little tighter, and then I wrap the next two stitches in the opposite direction that I would expect to be wrapping them. That makes them tighter on the needle, and when I go to um, bind off this stitch, there's not going to be as much slack in these stitches to work its way back into this one. And by the way, this is all very analytical. I am not a very analytical knitter. Um, I am recommending that if you want a really lengthy and thorough description of this topic that you go to KnittingSuzanne.com. She's a former chair of the Master Hand Knitting Committee and she's very analytical. I will give you the link in um, my blog post at arendaholiday.com for this uh, video. Alright, now I'm ready to do this. So I'm going to work this first stitch. I'm going to purl it normally, but I'm going to pull the yarn a little tight. Just make sure it's a little smaller. Now the next two stitches, get my thumb out of the way, I'm going to wrap the yarn under my needle instead of over. Normally you know that you wrap over for the purl. Oh, and this one was oriented wrong, so I'm just going to adjust it. I'm going to wrap it the wrong way, and then I'm going to work the rest of these. Now, notice that in some case I'm going through the back. I put these stitches back on the needle, and if I oriented them incorrectly, that means you just have to work them through the back. So, I'm at the point where I want to do the bind off. Now, how you get that tacky looking tiny bind off is you do this. I'm going to work my first stitch. I'm going to work 
my next stitch and normally what people do is they just work them normally but then what they do and this is the problem is they pull that stitch really tight and notice what it's done it's made that little bind off loop really 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 tight I'm going to do it again and there is absolutely no reason to do this it just makes those stitches tight and bad now the way to bind off is to use the same tension you would when you knit I'm going to knit that one and instead of pulling tight you'll see I'm just going to slightly tighten it up I'm not going to yank on it I'm just going to slightly tighten it up and what I'm doing is I'm just trying to keep the tension similar to my work below and you can tighten it a little bit now using a larger needle yeah that does help somewhat but really if you can just get in the habit of not yanking it like you're trying to strangle a cat you'll work it'll work just fine and so now I'm at these last three bind off stitches the stitches are oriented in the opposite way and I want to work them now what I also have learned to do is that if you stick your needle in there and really move it around you're just going to stretch that stitch out so if you use just your needle tips to form those stitches just my needle tip I'm just really trying not to stretch it out anymore okay, and I get to my last stitch and I'm really I'm just barely and I should be using metal needles these wooden ones are just a little too hard to manage for me okay and there I go whoops and this yarn is kind of splitty I'm going to tighten that up and notice the stitch is kind of larger but it's not terribly so and in fact I've been manipulating this thing so much that's one reason why it's kind of stretched out I've undone the work but try that and you'll see that it really does work now the other thing that you can do you are going to improve the appearance of it dramatically when you finish it off when you pull that loop through it neatens it up quite a bit and that's the bind off